Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're installing an ultrasonic distance sensor. This is an HCSRO4 ultrasonic. So I got this off of Amazon. They're inexpensive, they're only a few dollars. And they work like sonar. Take a look. Basically they emit 840 kilohertz pulses and then they wait for the return and measure it. Here's what one looks like. There's four signals basically. There's VCC, this is a five volt device that speaks in five volts only. So there's a VCC, there's a trigger an echo and a ground. You pull the trigger down for 10 microseconds and then it sends a pulse and when it receives it back it gives you the duration of the pulse back on the echo signal line. So I have this wired into the prototype board to talk to the GPIO on the Jetson. We use a level converter to take the GPIO, which is 1.8 volts, and convert it to five volts. So we get five volts off the Jetson on pin one. We bring it to the five volt rail, which we connect to the level converter and the HCSRO4. We have the ground, which is on pin eight of J3A1. We connect the ground to the level converter. We can connect it to the distance sensor. We bring it around to this other rail and bring it also to the ground of the low voltage side. On pin 19 of J3A1, we have 1.8 volts, which we use to drive the 1.8 volt rail. So we pull that over to the, this rail here and we put that as our low voltage on the level converter. Next, we hook up our trigger and echo lines, which are GPIO 165 and 166. 165 is pin 55 on J3A2, and it goes over here to A2. On the low voltage side, the trigger, which is J3A2, 58, which is GPIO 168, goes to A1. And then after we convert it to five volts, we put those into the trigger and the echo of the SRO4. So let's fire it up. See if we get some smoke. The shark is very interested in this point because he thinks it's a laser. The trick's on him. No smoke. So we need to install some software. We'll switch cameras to do that. I've written a little library to drive the HC SRO4 distance sensor. So let me grab that address. Clone it. Switch over to that directory. Over to the example. Make the example. Then we have to run it with sudo to get access and user space to the GPIO pins. And we can see that it works. So let's run our other little demo program that's included in the repository. It basically just graphs the distance. I've taken the sensor and taped it flat so that we can just put things over it. So I'll take this magazine. You can see that the distance changes 
it gets further away, it's a little more iffy. It's hard to tell where the sensor is pointed at. Something that's made of cloth that has different set of issues with it. The sound doesn't bounce off it very well, so it's hard to detect. So if you're a cloth-based shark, you'd be able to avoid it pretty easily. But if you have a large object, like this cardboard box, you can see that it tracks it pretty well. You still have to filter the results. But for a couple of bucks, it's a lot of fun.